Hi, we are reading How to Live the Diamond Life. Zero to Diamond, Become a Million Dollar Real Estate Agent by Ricky Carruth. Thank you for following me on all the channels, on all the channels. It's the last chapter of this book. And then we're gonna do the Think and Grow Rich workbook because you need to think and grow rich and then we need to like work it out in a book. Hey Josh. Hey Sign. What's up? So chapter 13, we're talking about the diamond life. Ironically, I will never have a chapter 13. Ha ha ha. Not very funny. That means a bankruptcy. I.e. a bankruptcy. Chapter 7 and chapter 13, bankruptcies. Because having a diamond level real estate business built upon hard work and smart decisions mean I don't have to be a gambler. How am I? I'm great. How are you? I am a real estate speculator. I'm not a real estate speculator or flipper. Do I occasionally invest in real estate? Yes. But my business is not at all rooted in speculation. Whether there is a recession or inflation, my business model will bring in a profit and my risk will be low. So let's talk about the good life, the diamond life. Did you guys know that I have a diamond tattoo? Yes, I do. So this is a very nice chapter. Hey, Steven, for the diamond life. Once you've mastered the low pressure, hard working mindset it takes to be a million dollar real estate agent and everything seems to start falling into place, you will get into a good rhythm in your business and your life. This rhythm is special. It will become your happy place. There are a few things you need to know once you hit this level. One very important thing to remember is to never stop pushing forward and learning new skills. And I, I want to see how long I can go reading new books because we always need to be pushing forward and learning new things. And being reading books is the best way and me reading books to you is also a really good way. We spoke about a plateau as something that is normal and not a bad thing. But if we get permanently stuck on the plateau, it becomes a cesspool of stagnation. The human mind always longs for new refreshment, new ideas, and new challenges. Regardless of how successful you become, remember there are only two directions you can go in life. Make sure you stay the course and continue moving yourself in the correct direction. Skyward. Another important thing to remember is where you come from. I came from very humble beginnings. Hopefully, I will never forget that. I never forget what it took me to break through the lower economic middle class and into the upper class, which is kind of whatever your definition of middle class and upper class is. Chances are very low for a guy like me, born without a particular advantage or wealth. But I never quit and I kept a positive mindset always. Don't take your success for granted. Your success can be taken away from you with a snap of a finger. I am speaking from experience. Keep in mind that once you are on top, you must do everything you can to persevere and cherish it. A companion word for cherish is gratitude. It is not enough to attain success. When good things are happening, we should cherish, treasure, and enjoy the good times. And that does not happen unless we have an attitude of gratitude. Hey, GME. Yes, that's a cliche phrase, but it's a cliche for a reason. It's true. Be grateful for your profession and for whatever level of success you reach. There are thousands of agents who would love to be in your shoes, and chances are that they are out there trying to come up with a plan to surpass you. Hey, boss lady. Hey, boss lady. Everyone's planning on surpassing you. And I just let people say good luck. That's very, that's cute. I'll teach you. I will teach you how to surpass me. Please surpass me. Yeah. I'm bringing everybody up with me. 
The Zero to Diamond phrase in this book title refers to the Diamond Club Award that Remax gives out every year. Agents receive this award when they have made over a million dollars within one year. I'm in the Diamond Club. I want to be in the Diamond Club. Whatever it takes to be in the Diamond Club. A million dollars a year is a good number. This is a great achievement for any agent, wouldn't you say? But you don't have to make a million dollars to start living what I call the diamond life. Maintaining success is much harder than achieving it, but it's absolutely worth it. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. Um, the diamond life. So even if you aren't making a million dollars a year right now, you can still live the diamond life. Um, being honest, diligent, and humble, working hard, being a sponge for learning, and having the drive and burning desire to continue to grow. These are the traits of an agent who is living the diamond life. If you believe you are a diamond and you are doing the things that you eventually get you there, then you already are a diamond. Loving what you do is also huge. If you always talk to new prospects with eagerness and do the things that you know you need to do with enthusiasm, your work becomes your hobby and tons of fun. I have fun every day because I am at the office putting deals together and making money. It's what I love to do. You must love it or it won't work well for you. Along with this chapter's topic and the metaphor of a race or a climb, let me mention a few more things. Health and recharging. Hey sis. Health is wealth. Without it, you would not be completely happy with yourself. Lots of successful people spend their whole lives making money, but having neglected their health, then burn all the money trying to restore their stressed out health. If you don't take the time to be healthy, eventually you will be forced to spend the time. Start become healthy today. Get the right amount of rest, not too much, not too little, Eat right and exercise. It's as easy as that. If you are too far down the wrong path when it comes to health, just ease into it. Walk, run, ride a bike, do something every day. I do, I'm getting into burpees. They suck. Burpees suck. But they are the most effective workout exercise that I could do right here at my home with no equipment. And the more you do, it really just tones everything and cardio, weightlifting, muscle development, posture. I'm going for a hundred a day, but I did like six yesterday. So here you go. Just do one little thing that's healthy for you. Burpees suck. I know. I know, but it's so effective that it's actually a waste of time for me to do other exercises because burpees are so effective. It's a lot of pushing because it's a lot of push-ups, but if I do burpees with chin-ups or pull-ups, then I would say it's the perfect exercise with pushing and pulling. That's my, that's my personal trainer. Lazy, what is the one exercise you can do tip of the day? And still look fabulous. Today is a good day to start if you haven't already. You will feel better throughout the day and have more confidence in yourself. Just as with continuing to learn and get better in your business, you must always continue working on your health as well. Try to get a little bit better every day with both your diet and exercise. I've been working on my health since 2010 and still improving, still climbing. The fact is that we never get to the top in anything. There is no top. There is only learn and get better. That's it. There is no top. There's no there's no top of the mountain. You just keep it's just forever. I I don't know. It's just forever and if it's kind of hard to think about that, but um it's just one point of view. As for recharging, it's a must. There is a breaking point for everyone where we can get burnt out. What are you guys doing to prevent burnout? Put in the comments below. Don't worry, this is natural. The trick is to take a break to recharge before stress harms your body or your work. Taking a break can mean different things for different people. It could mean a weekend getaway to your favorite place or maybe a week-long vacation out of the country to take place 
um, that you've never been before. It could be just a day or two to take off from work and take care of things around your house. You must figure out what works best for you. The three-day Vegas trip was actually really good for me. I actually got to, like, de detach from California for a little bit. It was very nice. It was very nice to see my family. Um, the point is that these breaks are necessary. They give you a chance to forget about work and refresh your mind. And I definitely felt refreshed after I came back. I also suggest a good book and meditation when possible. We were reading every night. When you return to work from one of these breaks, you feel recharged and ready for action. Whenever I return from a relaxing trip, I'm so motivated that I start selling more than I ever would have if I have not taken the break. And this goes back to... Meditate. Meditation is so powerful. If more people meditated, they would be so much more in charge of their life and so much happier. Um, so it's like you heard the story where like these two men are in a competition and they are trying to chop down a tree and they both have an axe. And one man is just chopping and chopping. They have four hours. Chop and chop, 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 chop. One guy chops for an hour sits down takes a little break sharpens his axe and then goes back at it and the other guy he's just going two hours in right and then the, the other guy who took a break he goes at it and he's like accomplishing more than the guy that keeps going and he takes another break and this other guy's correct for connection on um instagram and the guy that took the break chopped down the tree faster than the guy that didn't take a break because he kept sharpening his axe. And when you're having a big project like that, sharpening your axe is really smart. So I was actually on my way to Vegas talking to another real estate agent and he said he wasn't going to take a break. He's just going hard, 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 hard. And I was like, cool, I'm just trying to figure out the parking at the SAC International Airport to park my truck for the weekend and um I kind of feel like you just need to sit down sometimes and sharpen your axe sharpen your mind is your bi biggest and best tool and I just don't have that stamina I want to sit down and sharpen my axe and enjoy my life and like look back on the year and be like oh my god I did great and your vibration kind of goes up when you're on vacation and you're just in a different space and environment and I definitely think it helps performance and work but that's just me and you should just do what do you boo um allowing work to invade every moment of your life 24 7 is a recipe for disaster sure answer an email on your phone or take an important call after hours but outside of your set schedule, only do what must be done. Don't try to continue planning and emailing random random people all night. Give yourself nights off. This way you can go home and take care of your home and your family as well. Balancing out home and work is more important than balancing your checkbook. Balancing out home and work is more important than balancing your checkbook. That's a good one. Good job, Ricky. I don't balance anything. <laughs> um, especially in the beginning. I just don't think there is a balance. Okay, hi. G-A-O-N-A-N-O-E-L. I don't know how to pronounce that. That's why I spelled it. Hi. Butt signed on. You signed on with your butt. Thank you for your butt um, tuning into my life. I appreciate that. I have no balance. I was late for 15 minutes because I had to bite cat food. That's, but that's the life I choose to live. I'm kind of an intense person, a low key. I'm, there's a lot going on in this noggin that, um, that I don't show. If you are working with intelligence and intensity, truly doing what you need to be doing from 8 to 5 at the office, you will have no problem feeling good about shutting it down at 5 p.m. So, don't live to make diamonds. Make money so that way you can live the diamond life. 
family, friends, love, joy, peace of mind. That's what matters most. And prioritizing these things does not require you to abandon your business. Again, it's all about balance of passion, of life, and work. Start the diamond life today and you will see what it feels like to have real security and reason to enjoy life every single day. Conclusion. Thank you for reading my first book. I enjoyed writing it and sharing my thoughts with you about what it takes to succeed in real estate. And I would say any business. You can use some of these principles. I hope it has opened your eyes to new ideas that will help you take over the world. This is just the first of many Zero to Diamond books and instructional materials I plan to write. Please give me some feedback and a review of how this information helped you. I don't know if Ricky will watch my entire video on this. You never know, he might. If Ricky, if you do, I said everything that I had to say about your book. And I let everybody know how much I really enjoyed this book. This business is built on the strength of relationships you build. Act. Get out there and be the best agent you can be. And don't forget, you can always contact me anytime at shopgenstore.com. I look forward to helping you take your business to the next level and beyond. Thanks again. Acknowledgements. I want to say thank you to my mom and dad for always believing in me regardless of how high I set my goals. Praise the Lord who is responsible for all. And he wrote this in 2017. Oh, such a good book. I follow a punishment reward system to not burn out, but stay on track and not in the off mode for long. Good. That's really good. Um, a punishment reward. Oh, I can't deal with any punishments. I'm all rewards. But that's just me. Cool, you guys have any other questions? What book are we reading tomorrow? I don't know, I haven't even picked it out yet. Whatever book is called to me to read next. Did you guys like this book? Would you like me to read it to you again? I can replay these videos. Maybe in like, six months we'll see how long how much you've grown in six months and see if the same content hits you differently and when you listen to the same book multiple times like you're a different person every time and so you actually hear things differently and you you actually experience the book differently when you read it more than once i have not read books more than once only the 80 20 rule i did read ricky's book it was the second time i've read it it's just so good it just makes me feel really good in my tummy and he's just such a positive guy that just like sharing his experience and um, killing it. He's killing it in the EXP world. He's the only author that has called me. So uh, kind of the coolest guy on the planet. I don't, he called me the day I started reading this book and I said, oh, and it was so weird. I got a t call at six o'clock in the morning and then a text saying, do you want to move your Ricky Carruth talk to today? And I was like, I'm on California time. It's kind of early, 6 o'clock. And they're like, whatever. Do you want to talk to him or not? And I was like, yeah, I'll talk to him. It was my mom's birthday, too. And I talked to him, and I'm like, oh, my God, Ricky. I was like, okay, don't fangirl over this guy. Just be cool just be cool because you know when someone's like so much cooler than you and then they call you which like never happens and you're like don't freak out don't freak out don't freak out so i freaked out a little bit <laughs> and then i was like okay i could be at ricky's level one day and i need to act like I, we're just friends and like we're just human beings and we're i'm just gonna be at his level so i was like oh my god ricky i love your stuff and I'm reading your book on live today for other agents and I just think your content's great and I try to copy your social media con and he was like not ready for <laughs> me to say all this. I just like dumped so much that I had to say on him at once and he was like you know this is a little much and I was like well that's how I feel. So. 
anyways, he tried to recruit me for EX. He didn't try. He just did a soft call. He calls everybody Ed Smart. Creating information on how people can be successful in real estate and then having them sign up for your free coaching program. And even though I don't think I finished his 90-day coaching program, he called me. And, um, just asked how I was doing at my brokerage. <laughs> it's kind of like you're dating a guy and then, like, you have all these guy friends that are, like, just kind of asking how that guy is you're dating and if you want to date me. That's kind of how it sounds when you recruit people. Like, it's like, no, I still like the the brokerage I'm at. I still like the guy I'm dating. He's great. <laughs> he's like oh okay but tell me about your company and then he he like kind of got he said okay well um I'm trying it's time to get off the phone you know I gotta go when I said I really like Berkshire Hathaway and then I was like well tell me about EXP and he like kind of stayed on the phone a little bit longer and told me about what he was doing and he's just like bro you are so next level you were like in your own world like, if Ricky Carruth created his own real estate company, I think he would be very successful. Like, if he didn't want to do EXP, but he wanted to, like, Ricky Carruth real estate or whatever. I don't know what he would call it. Um, I think he would do really well. That's that's how um, how much he has influenced me and the game, which is really huge. The fact that he even called me. There's people in Sacramento here that don't even call me. So, no, his assistant set up a time. So I wonder how many assistants he has. I know he has someone that video records him every day and follows him around and then edits the videos and makes the short clips that he posts on all of his social media. And I know he has an assistant, and I know he pays his assistant like $5,000 a month plus bonuses. Um, And then I know he has another assistant to set phone calls for um, agents. Yeah. Ricky Carruth. I hope I can meet him one day. I think that would be really cool. I try not to fangirl over him so much, but... um, no, I th- he and he wants to travel. This COVID has kind of just been um, really tough for him because he loves to travel and talk to people about being successful in real estate. And it's been kind of hard for him to do with COVID. And I was like, well, you could do virtual, you know? He's like, it's not the same. Okay. It's not. Um, yeah. Any other questions for me? Any other questions? Okay, well, I'm going to hop on and we're going to do the last pages of what's going to be on the mortgage test. And um, then tomorrow we'll get into some mortgage questions. I literally have 900 mortgage questions that we're going to go over. And hopefully that will help me pass the test. And if you want to pass your mortgage test, hopefully it will help you. And then you can just pass the test and kind of move on in life and help people with mortgages. Okay, catch you guys later. Thank you so much for your time and attention. And please follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, YouTube, TikTok, um, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you made it this far, it's 24 minutes I did start an OnlyFans. <laughs> I'm going to do a free account, and you can tip me on my posts. And I just need to get my, um, just, it takes 24 to 48 hours to get, um, certified on there. And I can't wait. I think it's going to be fun. I, I actually enjoyed a lot of content that was on there. It's not all sexual. At least the free content isn't, and I hope to put a lot of free content on there and um, explore my sexy side on (laughs) OnlyFans. Okay, anyways, thank you so much for watching. God bless you. God bless America. You were the first to know about that OnlyFans. That happened last night. 
and um, let's kill it. See you guys later. See you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching.